Hello, fantasy faithfuls, and welcome to Fantasy Snapshot, where I'm looking at Philip Dorsett. Dorsett, it's facing the Buffalo Bills in week four. The Bills have given up 51.3 points to wide receivers, fourth least in the NFL so far, fourth least in 2018 in total, with 9.78 yards per reception and one touchdown. Brady going to the end zone. Open is Dorsett for the touchdown. Breaking down Dorsett's receiving, Dorsett is being targeted mostly outside the numbers with the left side being the dominant sign on the short passes and the right side for deep targets, perfect for fantasy scoring. His catch rate has been fantastic over the last two years with some really impressive numbers all across the field if we ignore the deep middle zone. And if we focus on the short left and deep right, we see that these are zones that the Bills have struggled to defend more than any other two zones. He gains a decent amount of yards when he catches the ball, especially to that deep right zone. This will be key against the Bills, as they have given up zero catches deep left, while they give up 30 yards per catch to the deep right, and a catch on every third pass. Still better than league average, but at least something. He doesn't come with a high floor or ceiling, nothing like that, but he has raised his lever from last year if we just look at the first three weeks. We can see that in there is almost no risk in him busting, while there's plenty of chance that he will boom above that ceiling with 26.6% compared to that bust risk of 0.2%. His touchdown rate over the last two years has been 10.7%, and that is a bit too high in my book. This means that his scoring is highly touchdown dependent. With how the Patriots are playing at the moment, the way they're using Dorset in combination with how the Bills handle the receivers, I have him projected for more targets than last week with eight, but fewer receptions at four. Looking at a snap. And wide, wide open. Philip Dorset. Big night for him. Touchdown. I would like to take a second to remind you to hit that like button, leave a comment what you think about this video, and subscribe to the channel. I love every interaction I have with y'all, and every little bit helps me put out even more content. Looking at his usability, we see in three weeks, Dorsett should have been started twice with a wide receiver 6 finish in week 1 and wide receiver 18 finish in week 3. In 10 games in 2018, Dorsett only should have been started twice. Those two games came early in the season as well, so be careful not to jump on the hype train too fast. And looking at this week's situation, the Patriots are playing on the road versus a top 16 air defense with a winning record. For Dorsett, this is the absolute worst situation. He is around 20% of his scoring in all these situations, meaning that his projection will be about 30% below his average just based on this. In the last three games he has played, he has seen eight red zone targets and scored three touchdowns with that. Again, an insane number, 37.5% success rate. This is, however, only 9.6% of the Patriots' red zone targets, and with a tougher opponent, that might only be one target this week. Based on all these stats, he has a risk factor of only 2% this week, meaning the algorithm thinks we should be careful as the projection will be extremely low compared to his average. For the game against the Bills in week 4, I have him projected for 4.1 fantasy points. In conclusion, he matches well in the receiving aspect of the game, but with the situation he's in and that he usually isn't this usable, I am skeptical to trust him this week. What do you think about Dorsett? Are you starting him? And what do you think about him moving forward in 2019? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more weekly content. Number 25 again off play action. And open for the touchdown. Dorset. Hello, Fantasy Faithful. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to check out more of them right here and here. In case you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a beat.